Hello everyone, I'm Yanni Dixon. In this video, I'm going to share my journey in becoming a software tester. I'm a quality consultant at Quality Works. You can find me on LinkedIn at Yanni-Dixon, on Twitter at NE1K133, and you can also follow my blog at yannidixon.com. So I mentioned I'm a quality consultant, but my academic background is not in computer science. I actually studied chemical engineering at university. However, after graduating, it was very challenging to find a job in that field. Unfortunately, this is not at all uncommon in areas where the job market is slow. And like others in a similar situation, I had to settle for a temporary job. After years with no success with chemical engineering, I started thinking about other industries I would find interesting. And that's when I learned about software testing and also that there were persons who had successfully transitioned into the field from a non-IT background similar to myself. After doing more research in the field, I eventually decided to make the transition. And so the first step I took was to get a certification in software testing. I did this all the while still working that temporary job. The syllabus for the certification had good content about the fundamentals of software testing. But I must say, coming from a non-tech background, it was a bit of a challenge for me because the information I was learning was also foreign. So I used Google and YouTube videos, basically anything I could find to help me better understand the information. And after all that studying and research, I'm happy to say that I am now a certified tester. After getting that certification, I was also fortunate to be a part of a software testing bootcamp. Getting to do this was an amazing experience because I got to interact with and learn from professionals within the space. Also, the experience helped me to solidify and put into practice a lot of the things I learned while studying for that certification. About a couple of months after completing that bootcamp, I got an opportunity to work part-time as a software tester. It was only for a few weeks, but still, I welcomed that opportunity with open arms because after years of not getting the jobs I wanted, this was finally a step in a direction I was excited to explore. A few months later, I was offered a full-time role as a quality consultant, and I must say that was truly exciting. It's been such an amazing journey since then because I got the opportunity to learn automated testing, something which would have seemed far reaching only a few months before. I've even learned about other types of testing like performance testing, API testing, and accessibility testing. I've gotten to learn from others who are more experienced within the industry. I've learned and seen firsthand some of the pitfalls of software development and even how to overcome those pitfalls. And I continue to learn even more. Regardless of your background, whether you have one in IT or you've never worked or studied in IT before, if you think software testing is right for you and you want to transition into the field, the best way is to start by learning. For example, learning the fundamentals of software testing. You can do this by taking a course, attending a boot camp, getting a certificate. That's how I started learning about software testing or even learning from software testing communities. There are online communities out there that have courses, challenges, podcasts, articles that are designed to help us learn about software testing. It might be a bit challenging in the beginning or maybe not, who knows, but it will be worth it. 
you can even reach out to professionals in the space to get assistance and guidance if you are uncertain about the direction you want to go. Also, get work experience. When just starting out, it might come in the form of entry-level positions or even part-time positions. And that's okay, because the knowledge you will gain from these experiences will only build you up and make you even more marketable. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I'm Yanni Dixon. You can find me on LinkedIn, on Twitter, or even follow my blog. Bye.